Hi boys and girls, and welcome to Children's Church for Sunday, July 26th. Pastor Laura will be teaching to the grown-ups again about another parable. Let me show you my parable box again. See how it looks like a gift? It has shiny gold paper and a lid, but if you open the lid, there's a story from Jesus in there on how he wants us to continue his work for him by being kind and reading the Bible and loving others and showing Jesus to others. So let's get started on today's story. Friends, I have a question for you. Do you know what this is? Yep, it sure is. It's a loaf of homemade bread. Well, actually, it's made in the bakery, but we call it homemade bread. How do you like to eat your bread? Oh, that sounds yummy. I usually like to slice the bread, then toast it till it's just slightly golden brown, then carefully take it out of the toaster. And I put jelly and peanut butter, sometimes grape jelly, sometimes strawberry. I love blueberry jelly. That's the best. But I always use honey roasted peanut butter. And now I think I'm hungry. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so we're clear on what this is. But I have a question for you. Does anybody know what this is? Can you see it? Can you take a guess at what that is in my hand? Hmm. Did someone say flour? No, it's not flour. Can you see it? It's called yeast, and without it, the bread would be flat and not puffy and delicious like this. Yeast is the key ingredient to make the, the bread rise, and you have to knead it. If you have the bread dough and you put the yeast in it, you put it in there and you smush it up and you get it all over and over and over and over again. You knead it and you knead it. Then you let it sit for a while. Then you knead it again and you knead it again until you are sure it is all the way through the whole loaf of bread. And here's the really important part to remember. The yeast added to the dough can no longer be seen, but it's guaranteed that it's working. And once you put it in there, you can't take it back out. It's always going to be in there. And here's the part that's very important to remember. The yeast added to the dough can no longer be seen, but it will work. So we have to remember that to understand the next part of the story. So Jesus told this to his friends to explain how if we tell others or show others how much Jesus loves us and cares for us, or if we show people our Bibles or bring them to a vacation Bible school or to Sunday school, well, they will feel the love of Jesus too. And guess what? When everyone who loves Jesus tells others about him, it grows and it grows and it grows, just like this bread. And guess what? It will never stop growing. Yeast cannot be stopped. It works just as the love of Jesus cannot stop loving. So if you think about it, boys and girls, someday everybody will know Jesus. And when we accept Jesus into our hearts, his grace grows into our hearts and changes us from the inside out, just like the yeast changes the bread dough. Isn't that the best news, boys and girls? So think about this. Hundreds, hundreds of years from now, when your family members We'll be talking about Jesus. It started with you. Yes, that's right. It started with you just by you telling others about Jesus or showing others the light of Jesus that's in your heart. I 
think that's pretty cool, boys and girls. What do you think? So today we're going to pray again like we did last week. It's going to be a little bit longer. So get your wiggles out. And I want you to repeat after me and bow your heads, all right? Christ with me. Christ before me. Christ behind me. Christ in me. Christ beneath me. Christ above me. Christ on my right. Christ on my left. Christ where I lie, Christ where I sit down, Christ when I stand up, Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks to me, Christ in every eye that sees me, and Christ in every ear that hears me. Father God, Help me to remember that size is not important in your kingdom. And you can use even the smallest of us to grow the kingdom. To bring change to this world. We pray all of this in Jesus' name, Lord. And the children of the Lord said, Amen. All right, boys and girls, nice job, and I will see you next week. Bye for now.